How to root the Google Pixel 6 or the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can root your Google Pixel 6 or the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. And how do you unlock the bootloader on your Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro? The video for that can be found in the description of the video. Next thing you need to do is have access to a computer. Now your computer can be Mac, Linux, Windows, whatever you are comfortable with. I am going to use a Windows computer for the purpose of this video. And if you are using a Windows computer, you do need to have ADB and fast boot drivers installed on your computer. How do you do that? We have a separate video for that as well, which can again be found in the description of this video. Now moving over to the computer, all the links which we are going to use in this video are in the description of this video. So for starters, you need to have ADB and Fastboot for Windows, Mac or Linux based on your operating system. This here is the official Android developer website. Download the one which is applicable for you. Then you need the factory image for your Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro. Once you land on this page, you might have to agree to some terms and conditions and then you should be on a page like like this here and on the right hand side you will notice that we have pixel 6 and we also have pixel 6 pro now we are using the pixel 6 pro for the purpose of this video so we select that and here and you have a bunch of different links which one do you need to use so for starters if you got your pixel 6 from say the European region then you have EMEA carriers so that is for Europe then you have a build for US carriers and you have one for AU which I think stands for Australia so these are the different build names now you also have a specific build version over here as you can see so this one here is SQ1D and similarly you also have the December patch so if you go into settings and then if you go into about phone your Android version therein you will get all these details have a look at the build number and match that to one over here so we are running on my pixel 6 pro the december patch so android security patch is from december and this is the device from us so we are going to use the us carriers link and we are going to select link and once you do that it is going to give you the option to download a file make sure that save file is highlighted and once that is done the next thing i recommend you do is place all these files inside side one folder now other than the adb and your fast boot the next thing you need is magisk canary apk because at the time of recording this video that is the apk which can patch our boot image so here is the folder wherein i have all the things which i need so the first file here is your magisk canary apk again links to all of these are in the description of the video the second one here is platform tools so this is your adb and fast boot and this here is the factory image for December 2021 because I am using or I am running the December 2021 build on my Pixel 6 Pro. Next thing we need to do is we need to extract this Raven or the factory image. Now you can use any software which you want to. I am using WinRAR. So for Windows, I'm using Windows 11. Right click on the file, say show more options and then we can say extract here. Now this is going to extract the contents of this file to this very specific folder now once that is done we have another folder with this name and if i go inside this folder i have a bunch of other files and i also have another archive what we are looking for here is the boot.img file which is inside this archive so again the same process unzip this one as well right click show more options and we are going to say extract here 
now this is going to extract the contents and as you can see we now have a bunch of other files being extracted system.img is the one which is being extracted right now followed by vendor and pretty soon once the process has finished we should have the file which we are looking for in fact i think the file which we are looking for has already been extracted so here it is boot so this is the file which we are looking for but we still have to wait for the process to finish now once all the files have been extracted successfully next thing we need to do is we are going to connect our phone to the computer using a usb cable and do note the phone is turned on into android right now and at this point your computer mac linux should detect it as an external storage device and in case your computer or mac or linux does not detect it as an external storage device swipe down on your notification shade go into the option of charging this device tap on more options and here in select file transfer or android auto and at this point you should definitely have your device showing up as an external storage device so here it is we are back on the computer and the first thing we need to do is move this magisk canary to our device so again select the file right click and we are going to say copy this file and then we can go to our external storage here so this here is the pixel 6 pro and you can go into any folder let me just go into the download folder right click and i am going to paste that file over here so here it is this is the magisk canary file which has been pasted successfully into my pixel 6 pro next thing we're going to go back to the folder where we have extracted the factory image which we have downloaded so this here is the first folder and inside this we are looking for this file called boot it might be named boot.img for you in case you have file extensions showing up again the same thing right click on this and then we are going to say copy it and then we can go back to the same location which is our pixel 6 pro go into the download folder right click over here one more time and go ahead and paste the boot.img file so the boot.img file and your magisk canary have now both been transferred to the device now at this point in case you want to disconnect your phone from the computer feel free to do so but do note we will have to connect it one more time now back on the phone let us go to our home screen and then we can open the application drawer here you should have an application called files open the files you will be greeted with a page like this scroll down go into internal storage so this here is our internal storage go into the download folder as you can see we have our boot.img and we also have our app debug which is magisk canary so we're going to tap on magisk canary and we do need to to install this apk so we will go into settings allow from this source wait for a few seconds you will get a pop-up to install magisk and on the pop-up select install then we can go back you will get a notification on the bottom that magisk was installed now go back to the home screen open the application drawer and we should have an application called magisk so go ahead open the magisk app now right now you will notice that magisk installed is saying not applicable which means the device is not rooted right now and app installed is telling us the app version which is present the next thing we need to do is we need to patch the boot image so we are going to tap on install besides the magisk so tap on install over here and then the method select and patch file now this has opened the file explorer application by itself on its own tap on the three bar menu on the top left here in select your device in my case pixel 6 pro now go to the folder where we have transferred the boot.img file in our case it was the download folder select this and it should automatically see all the contents so now here and we are going to select boot.img and then we are going to say let's go now this is patching that specific file and the patched version will be placed on your device and it is telling us where it is placed so storage emulated zero download magisk patched so now go back to your home screen open the files application one more time and you should already be in the download folder if you are not then use the previous method of 
from the home page scroll down go into internal storage and download so here it is this is our magisk patched file so this is the file which we now need to transfer to our computer so at this point go ahead and connect your phone to the computer one more time and once you have connected it you of course have to access your notification select charging this device tap for more options and select file transfer and your device is going to be detected as an external storage device on your mac linux or your windows computer now back on the computer here and we are in the same folder where we have all the files which we need for the purpose of this video and at this point we need to extract this platform tools file so again right click on it and then for windows 11 show more options and we are going to say extract here now this is going to extract our platform tools and if you go inside this specific folder you now have over here adb and you also have over here the fast boot file so these are the files which we are concerned with but we need another file over here which is our magisk patched file so we are going to go into our pixel 6 pro or the pixel 6 go to that specific path which in our case is download so right click on this magisk patched file we are going to say copy and then we are going to go back to our folder where we have platform tools go inside this folder where you have adb and fastboot right click over here and then we can paste the magisk patched file over here and once that is done we now have our magisk patched file over here and then you also have your fastboot file over here so all the files which you need are inside one folder now once this is done disconnect your phone from the computer and then we need to boot into fast boot mode now how do you boot into fast boot mode on your pixel 6 or the pixel 6 pro access your quick settings panel expand it tap on this power button which you see here and select restart as soon as the restart option disappears press volume down and keep it pressed so again restart your device once the restart screen disappears press volume down keep it pressed and you're going to boot into something called fast boot mode super important thing to note over here my device state is unlocked which means the bootloader is unlocked on my device which is a prerequisite to root your pixel 6 or the pixel 6 pro and at this point the next thing we need to do is connect our phone back to the computer using the usb cable one more time and then we are going to move back to our computer so back on the computer and we are in the same folder which is your platform tools wherein we have our fast boot and the magisk patched file next thing you need to open command prompt in this very specific path now if you are using windows all you need to do is tap on the address bar make sure everything is highlighted press the delete button on the keyboard or the backspace and then type in cmd and press the enter key this is going to open command prompt in this very folder mac and linux users need to open terminal and navigate to that specific path where you have fast boot where you have adb and where you have the magisk patched boot image the first command we are going to do is to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not and the command for that is fast boot space devices mac and linux users do need to enter dot slash before the command now right now i'm not sure whether it is forward slash for mac or backward slash for mac but it is dot slash and then fast boot space devices once you've entered the command go ahead and press the enter key and there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fast boot mode if your device is not being detected in fast boot mode that means you do not have the drivers installed which means you need to install the drivers and the video for that as i mentioned at the beginning of the video can be found in the description of this video next thing we need to do is we need to flash the patched boot image so the command for that is fast boot space flash space boot space and then we need the name of the magisk patched 
file now how do you get the name instead of typing it in the easiest way is to just drag and drop this to your command prompt or to your terminal and that is going to plug in the name so again mac and linux users do need to enter dot slash before the command and once you have entered the command go ahead and press the enter key so it looks like i made a typo or a typing error so let me enter the command one more time all right so this time the spelling of fast boot is correct go ahead and press the enter key and there it is you can see it is sending boot underscore b now what it is sending underscore character can be different in your case it could be boot underscore a in my case it is boot underscore b no need to panic if it is boot underscore b for you and as you can see everything was flashed successfully now once the file has flashed successfully feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer and at this point you are in fast boot mode next thing you need to do is use the volume rockers to go through the different options and once you see the option for start here on the top press the power button and this is going to boot us back into android now of course bootloader is unlocked so we are getting the message that the bootloader is unlocked on this specific device press power button to pause but we are not interested in pausing it and there it is we do have the Google boot animation on our pixel 6 or the pixel 6 pro and pretty soon we should boot into our Android operating system here it is we have booted successfully and now if I open the magisk application you will notice that my device should tell me that we have a magisk version installed so here it is previously magisk was not applicable now it is telling me it is installed which means that we have successfully rooted our pixel 6 or the pixel 6 pro now what if you get into a boot loop or you're not able to boot in that case all you need to do is boot back into fast boot mode so again if you are in the boot loop press and hold power and volume down together till you boot into fast boot mode once you are in fast boot mode all you need to do is flash the original boot.img file and then reboot your device and you should be good to go and there it is peeps we have successfully rooted our pixel 6 or the pixel 6 pro using magisk and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you